President, get English, right? You, we were born in Queens, grew up in Queens. But uh, right now we're talking about evangelical Christians. So what's your question, Chris? I think that if we went down the list of things, we don't play games on this show, but however, if I said, would you say this about um, someone who just passed away? Would you yeah, say this about yeah. him? You'd say, no, I'm not saying that. I don't Correct. want to hear any of the words. Correct. But you back somebody yes. as a person of right. faith who says all of them. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, it's like my pilot has tattoos and he's on his fourth wife, but he's an amazing pilot. I would prefer... Uh, a pilot uh, who has been married for 30 years to the same woman. Uh, sometimes things are complicated, and I think that in this day and age, we've had such a dramatic choice. I mean, look, the day Hillary Clinton was chosen as the, the standard bearer for the party and Trump was chosen, most people had a tough choice. It was not, you know, it, it, was, it was not uh, Ronald Reagan and uh, whoever, Mondale or whatever it was, it was, it was a tough choice for everybody. So you had to think hard about what matters. And, and I think that given the track record of Hillary Clinton, a lot of people like myself were scared to death at the thought of a Clinton presidency wow. for, for many, many years. I think something happened to the Democratic Party over the last 30 years. It's not the party that we grew up with. It's not the party that it was in FDR's day. It has gone so far left that in a way, if you want somebody who, let's say, respects the Constitution is going to appoint originalist judges, not conservative judges, originalist judges who are going to call balls and strikes, at that point, your only hope is to have a president with the GOP. Except, now, that's a serious issue. It's absolutely a serious issue, and that would be the criticism, is you guys are just like every other politi political faction yeah. now. You want what you wanted. You're yeah. no better than anybody else. Whoever you said anybody was better than anybody. The yeah. first thing about being a Christian well, is you know you're a sinner so, and you're not better than anybody well, else. So no, that's no, no, not no. the way you guys played it. You that's played it way. character counts. No. When, okay. when, when Bill Clinton was right, impeached, right, right, right. you all wrote letters like Mike Pence saying, yeah. forget about crimes. Right. This is about cleansing the house. Right. This is about morality, Correct. his behavior. Correct. This president passed none of those tests. Correct. And you know it. So if those tests don't matter anymore, it's just getting your judges and getting the political positions. No, 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 no. So you might as well be like, no, no, no. you if know, you, the if, DJs of America. If you make they have it, their own wants. If you make it that transactional, I, I think fundamentally you're, you're making a mistake. Anytime anyone votes for anyone, there are aspects to it that, that are like that. When we're honest, you know, you, we, we mostly vote self-interest. But somebody really cares about America doesn't just vote self-interest. He votes for what's good for America. America. And so when you care about religious liberty, you can say, I care about myself, I care about my religious liberty. Or you can say, no, I care about the concept of religious liberty, and I care about everyone's religious liberty. And in a country that no longer prizes religious liberty, you begin to lose all your Why liberty. Why do we not so prize religious liberty unless you define that as your ability to exclude other people because you don't like them? Okay, now that's sophistry. And it is not sloppy. sophistry. I'm that making Chris, it exactly an analogy to the no, laws that Mike no. Pence the went idea after, of which was religious. Hold on a second. Religious liberty meant I'm a Christian. I don't want to bake your cake. I don't want to look at you. Okay. I don't want to sell to I'm you. I'm a Jew, be, be and careful. somebody comes in and says, bake my swastika cake. Hey, Jew, bake the swastika cake. Now, will the American government force the Jew to bake the swastika cake? Will, will the government force the Jew to bake that cake. We all know the government will say, you know what? So we should have the right to get any are cake. The same as oh, no, okay. Are you going to go there? Yeah, of course. That's it was cheap. a terrible example. No, no, no. That, it was a terrible example. No. The example Nazis, is when some gay people. Nazis, Chris, gay people. One okay, is a pernicious listen, threat listen. to your existence. You, the other one is not a pernicious threat. If you just want to win threat. an argument, you can keep going there. But I'm telling you that, that that's absolutely ridiculous. The point is, well, you if somebody. All right, let's take a better example. Yes. Take a better example. How about that? Yeah, but the point is, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't it. matter. <laughs> if you if you think of it this way, yes. In America, when somebody comes and asks you to do something right. that violates your conscience, okay. The reason I use the swastika and the Jews because everybody would say like that would violate a conscience. So we don't really care that the baker says, I'm here for everybody. We would say to him, if somebody brings in something offensive to you, you have the right in America to say, I'm sorry, go to the next baker. But in America... Where does that end? What if it's black people? What if it's Greek people? What if it's Italian people? We've been through this. Yeah. In the Civil Rights Act, right. we said that you can't say to somebody because of the color of your skin, That's I'm right. not going to serve you a cream, hamburger. Or your orientation. Right? But the point is that if somebody comes into, let's say, to a Muslim, okay, a Muslim baker, and says, I want you to bake a cake, 
you know, uh, celebrating a Zionist organization. We would say in America, the government should not force the Muslim baker to bake a cake celebrating Zionism. Me, That's let me because make it easy of for American let me make it easy for principles you. called religious liberty and liberty let in general. Let me make it easy for you. I give you the point, okay? It's not about your rights. It's about what is right and wrong, wrong. And that is a different set of criteria that people of faith ascribe to. It's not about what the law insists on, what Correct. the law empowers. Correct. You have a different set of standards. Correct. And I don't think this president, and honestly, I don't think you think this right. president, checks any of the boxes you think that Catholics, matter to you in an individual. Do you think Catholics who believe uh, abortion is wrong, is a, is a horrible sin? That is the teaching of the church. Right. Do you think that, that Catholics could ever vote for a pro-abortion candidate would they be violating their faith? I say no. You say no. Because Why? Because they live in a secular society and the law respects the choice of people to have reproductive rights. But, but so okay, that is you your just society. call it reproductive rights, which is also yeah. sophistry. We're talking no, about taking because in, to a be human true, life in Eric, the womb. to be accurate, you are anti-choice. You think people should no, 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 not no, no, have no, no, a choice of what no. to do with their body. anti-murdering the unborn. The unborn in America are now a marginalized group, and we legally say, we say it's legal now... As soon as they are identified them, as people, as soon as that eight line... Months, now, if you really want eight to make months a fight, along. No, not eight, eight months, months long. long. By the way, you, you happen to be no, related to somebody who took a nowhere. stand on this about a year ago. Nowhere eight in the along. law. All New York State did was codify Roe v. Wade. That's sophistry. That is taking a point and twisting it to upset people of faith. Why do that? Because it's true. But it's wrong. I just told you it's, it's wrong. It's not wrong. I'll yeah, bet you dinner over anywhere Europe, you want. No, no, all... forget about Europe. I'll bet you anything you want, anywhere you want. All over that Europe, all New they York have did laws was codify that say, Roe v. Wade. Why lie about it? After 12 weeks in the womb, we're not going to kill that because we believe it's a human being. In they, America, they do the research. when we say 20 weeks or 24 weeks, people freak out and they say, no, 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 no. We want to be able to take the life you of the child. You have a viability test. We went through this. Here's what you're arguing. Did we go through this? Well, Who went through that's this? That's Roe v. Wade. What well, you, you should you do is, this is what people of faith should do. Instead of weaponizing and distorting the truth, here's what you should push for. Tell me. We need to have more scientific research about when life begins. There's too much of a range. Different religions feel different ways about it, have their own equations. Why don't we have people you, decide you think a what five the standard month should be? old fetus? I'm not a scientist. You know, I know that, what the law is. That is like when Obama said, you know, that's beyond my pay grade. Most people call here's, it a baby. I get an ultrasound. Saying. My wife and I go to get an ultrasound. We see the baby four months along. We go, that's our you baby. That's our daughter. You have a choice of a lot of candidates who believe what you believe in when it comes to reproductive rights. Right. Why get behind a man who makes a mockery of your faith? I certainly don't think... Most people that I know do not think he makes a mockery of our faith. Does he practice it's only people, any of the things that you think are important? But what, here's what I find interesting. Hold on, no, most no, people Eric, who are not evangelicals like you I'm not talk about my faith. Well, yes. well, let's talk about your faith. Yeah. You're, you're a Catholic. Yes. Does he make a mockery of the Catholic faith? If he said he were Catholic, yeah, he does. Okay. He does, does not practice does somebody... humanity. He Let... does not practice decency. Okay. He does not love mercy. He is if... intentionally unkind. He is mean to opponents. He if, puts if, himself if, before the collective, if, and he doesn't honor his oath. These okay. all matter to us, don't yeah, they? Yeah, but I disagree with that. We, we were talking about Mark. We never got to Mark Galley's uh, editorial in Christianity Today. Okay. That's why we're here, right? Because he wrote an article. No, I wanted you here because I don't understand how people who believe what you believe yeah. get behind somebody who does not. Unless well, you're just going to say it's transactional. When, when, wait a minute. When in the world have evangelicals ever supported someone beca just because he ticks off the faith boxes. When you, you used to say, character counts. Well, wait, 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 wait. A person who is so you're moral, saying only an evangelical first. Christian has character? No. I'm well, then saying why that would evangelical Christians, a premium. Why would evangelical Christians need to count character with regard to our own faith? Character is something because that that's what upon you're, faith. Because that's what you're about. Your faith is about character and adherence to Christ's message. So, I, so I wouldn't vote for mechanics. a Jew? I wouldn't vote for a Jew. Why can't you? you I, I'm, you're the one if who's saying that I wouldn't truth, vote for a Jew. If they, if they practice love, if they practice mercy. You're telling me what I'm telling you. Of course I would vote. But he doesn't practice those things. That's well, why I'm asking. According to you? No, according to anybody. You tell me he does. Do, do you know does anybody, he practice mercy? Do you know does he any, practice love? Do you know anybody uh, who has sex outside of marriage? Yeah, let's say I, everybody does. Let's right. say everybody does. Okay, according to Christian Catholic evangelical teaching... You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to, right. okay? That's the least so of his problems. Do we say that those people are grossly immoral? 
You guys, yeah, usually, yeah. You used to. You, that used to but be the, enough. But the, but the Catholic Church doesn't yes, say that? Yes, them too. Okay. But if I had a Catholic organization in front of me saying, no, we're back behind Trump no matter what, and I've had that guy on before, I have the same argument. But listen, I got to jump. I, I, <laughs> I want to wish you the God best for Christmas. You. Merry and I appreciate Christmas. you making the case here. I appreciate You're you. You're always welcome here Thank to you. make the case. Thank you. Best to you. All right. All right. Eric Metaxas, Greek, Italian, but we can disagree with decency, and that's what we do on the show. It's important, especially at the holidays. All right, new info.